If you decide to tackle this job yourself, you could end up burnt, bruised, or bleeding. Or you could save hundreds of dollars and give it to your wife. Thank you. Testing the high voltage hybrid battery. We're going to test each individual module one at a time. And if any single module is bad, we will have to remove the entire hybrid battery assembly because there are bolts on the bottom that hold the individual modules in place and they have to access those from the bottom. Now we're starting with module one and we're going to go each one one at a time all the way to 28. I have a connector here that goes to a lot over there. We may have to move this my setup over there to inside the vehicle because this guys look kind of angry right now. If you look up here we got some nice looking clouds over there. They get darker and darker and then they're just absolutely black over there. So hopefully the weather will hold out, but this does take quite a while. So I have a feeling we're going to be moving that stuff in here. Back to the subject at hand. We have a lead here going to the tester. This lead over here, of course, goes to the positive of the load, which is a light we have over there. And then a positive lead to the tester. We have over here the multimeter tester and the load and the stopwatch. And of course, coffee. Can't do any vehicle repairs without coffee. We had one minute, three seconds to get to 7.5. We've reset the timer and reset the load and it's dropping now. We're gonna check our time at 7.2.
If you get more than four minutes and you're still at 6.9, what we're going for is 6.5 right here. If you get more than four minutes, which we have here, you can just put greater than 4.0, just greater than four minutes. Because at this point, if this module is bad, it's going to go from 7.0 to 6.5 pretty quickly. If you got more than four minutes at this low range here, you've got a really good module. Especially if you've got these lengthy times here at every other point. So we're going to shut off the load. We're going to shut off the timer. We're going to reset at zero. And we're going to move to the next module. You can also see this, this recovered pretty quickly once the load was taken off back up to over 7 volts. It's hovering around 7, 6.9 with no load on it. And we're going to move to the next module, which when you move to the next module, remember, these modules are turned positive, negative, negative, positive, alternating one after the other. Just let me show you here. Let me get you off of here and show you. So what I mean is you've got to take your connection and move it over here, your negative, to this side because the modules alternate and so what you see here this one was negative on this side this one's positive and then negative and then positive and then negative all the way to module number 28 and so we move the positive to that side the negative to this side and we're on I marked them here so we can see Module 1, 2, 3, all the way up to Module 28. Since Module 1 tested very good, we're on Module 2, and we're starting at 7.67. We can go ahead and write that down. 7.67. Of course, we also have from our no-load test, let's see what we got here. This is the results of our no load test. And now, since we're starting on the load test, we're gonna do exactly the same on this module two as we did on module one. And we're just gonna repeat over and over and over again, 28 times. I'm sure y'all get the point right now. And you can recreate this yourself from what you've seen on module one. And just like I said, just make sure you alternate from one side to the other as you go from module to module or if you have taken the battery out and you've taken this all apart and you're doing it on the bench and you've got the individual modules on the bench make sure you you mark you know 1 through 28 and write on your modules as well if i find a single module that's bad here i'm going to mark every one of the modules 1 through 28 so that i'll know which module i'm taking out and which one is bad and i can coincide with my notes right here as I said before, you'll have to repeat this with each and every module. And you can see the results of my testing here for all 28 modules, which took the better part of two days. Uh, because of filming and other interruptions, it took around 14, 15 hours to do this. If you do it straight from first module to last with no interruptions and you're not filming or anything, you can probably do this in about seven hours. But as I'd mentioned before in my text on this video, don't attempt this if you don't have any way to charge and balance your modules afterwards. So I hope this video has helped you. I hope it saves you lots of money and lots of time. And if you need any more help with any more auto repairs, please see my other videos. Uh, lots and lots of other videos on hybrid, on regular gas cars, uh, some diesel, just about anything you can imagine. You know, of course, we've got the 2011 Crown Vic over there. Lots of videos on that. The big E250 with the 5.4 liter modular engine. Um, and then the, the 97 Camry over there. Lots of videos on that. And in there in the garage, we've got the 72 Mach 1 with the 351 Cleveland Cobra Jet in it. We've got the V12 Jaguar. We've got the Corvette. Lots of videos on those. 
And then, of course, we've got a few other things hidden down in the woods there, including we've even got a big 22-seater bus back there. I won't tell you what engine's in there, but you will be very surprised. <laughs> we also have car show videos, uh, featured show car videos, museum car videos, uh, you name it. If it has wheels and tires on it, some motorcycle videos, and we do our lives every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do a live show on our Sane Enterprises page every Wednesday night at 7.30 and we have new videos coming out every week, twice a week actually, on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1 p.m. Welcome to St. Auto. We're so glad you're here. We don't just do repairs and tool reviews. Bienvenida a St. Auto. Nosotros no solamente hacemos reparaciones de autos. We also film hot rods and mod rods, project cars, classic cars, antiques. Nosotros también filmea autos antiguos, mod rods, hot rods, cualquiera. We also like to take you with us to the car shows and the cruise ends, so make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything. Me la gustaría llevarte con nosotros en los cruisings y car shows, entonces empuja ese botón y toca la campaña para que no pierda nada. Thank you for watching our videos. Many of the events, shows, and people that we feature support much needed charities. Bastante de eventos que nosotros filmea soporta caridad. Please take a child or a friend to one of these events and make sure that they're aware of all the good works that the great people of the car community do. Por favor, lleva un niño o un amigo a los eventos para que sepa de buenos trabajos que hacen los coordinadores de evento. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego.